All right, guys. I'm back. Now, um, this is a video on uh, custom firmware 6.37 by Neuron. Uh, this is going to show how to install it. Uh, basically, a couple things you're going to have to do. If you're running on 5.50, uh, any version of uh, Prometheus, uh, get the fuck off it. What uh, basically you're going to have to do is uh, there's this thing called Hellcat's Recovery Flasher. It's a very nice tool. I have a video on it. And uh, you can downgrade your PSP to certain custom firmwares. And uh, you're going to need to uh, downgrade it to custom firmware uh, 5.00 M33 in order to install this. And also your battery is going to need to be 78%. Uh, so that's what the Hellcat's Recovery Flasher looks like. Um, I have a video on that. So uh, go check that out on my channel. Uh, it's got like I think like ten thousand something views maybe I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure I haven't looked at it um, but anyways um, down to business uh, I'm gonna have you download a file uh, specifically now I do have the official firmware able to be downloaded here which is this file right here that I'm pointing at the 637.pbp and uh, the file I'm gonna have you download is right here it's the release 637me3 um, so uh, that's what's uh, going on in that neck of the woods. So uh, basically what we're going to do is you're going to take your PSP, downgrade it to 5.00 M33 custom firmware. And uh, after that process is all done, my Hellcats recovery flasher video will show you how to do that. And uh, basically what you're just going to do is uh, connect your PSP into USB mode, like so. Do I have to kill the planet? Or, yep, I gotta kill the planet. Let's take the battery out. It's 5.00 M33 was fucking gay, known for its lagginess and its bugs. For an example, freezing when you enter USB mode is not supposed to happen. Why? Because you're attaching an external source. Let's try this again. USB mode. I am going to kill your family. Fuck it. I'm just gonna leave that off. Suck my dick. Fuck your mother. Die. Go in. Open. Select. Recovery menu, plugins, <sighs> disable, disable, that don't matter, that don't matter, that doesn't matter, and that doesn't matter, CPU modulator, PSP power saver, custom firmware black, hold, the city store is cheat device, yada yada yada, don't care, don't care, don't care, okay, back. Exit. You. Let's reboot the device. I fucking hate this thing. Why? Because. Old custom firmwares are gay. Cool, did it work? Hooray, it fucking worked. Maybe I can actually connect the USB mode now. Look it! When in doubt, disable all your SE plugins. If you can't connect to USB mode, why? Because they fucking suck dick. They're just there to make it better when you're not in USB mode. But when you try and get back into it after, like, on a lower firmware, yeah, it's not that great. But anyways, so shut up. Open up um, your uh, PSP, your removable drive, and uh, open up the PSP folder in there and go to the game folder. Now, the file I have you download, depending on which one you do, I don't know what the hell you're going to use the official firmware one for, but it's there if you need it. And uh, open up the release 637ME3. If you don't have an extraction program, just simply right click on that file and say extract files to your desktop. Not too hard. So inside those extracted files, you're going to see a release 637ME3 folder. Open that up. You're going to see a readme text and an update folder. Simply 
open up that update folder and you're gonna see 637.pvp I've put that in there for you and the eboot.pvp 637 is the official firmware and the eboot is the custom firmware files what you're gonna do now is simply just drag and drop the update pvp in or the update folder into the PSP game folder on the removable drive and let that copy over now Seeing that, um, I don't know what happened to um, the charger I had for this. I'll try something different. Oh, I can reach it. This might actually work. I don't know if it will or not, but we're going to see. So once you're done copying all your files, exit USB mode. Oh, would you look, it's charging. All right, so now, what you're gonna do is scroll over to the game categories like so and go to the memory stick. Open up the memory stick and you're gonna see PSP update version 6.37. Only you're not gonna have like the circular update thingy. Start that. That is so gay. I wonder why I changed mine. If Windows, I'm gonna fucking kill you and your family and stab your babies and piss on your fucking ashes. Anyways, unpacking, done. Please wait. Your battery has to be at least 78%. All right, well I'm gonna let this fucking shit charge because it's being mad fucking retarded because I have the AC plugged in but for some reason, it can't continue the installation, even though it's not going to die and it's plugged in charging. So, pause time. Alright. So now that I've returned, uh, let's see if this will work now. Right, 80%. So, uh, we got everything all set up, ready to go. Go to your XMB and start up the game. Packing, that's what it's gonna do, and then you're gonna wait for the battery power confirmation. Verifying 637.pvp. Now, this is um, based off um, the uh, M33 custom firmware, by the way. Do, 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 do. Press X to start the update. Verifying U235.PRX. Awesome. Starting the SCE updater. Please wait. Bum 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 Yes. Thank you. All right. You're going to see the screen flash blue real quick. That's normal. PSP system software version 6.37. Start. It's going to tell you what has been added. License agreement. Accept it. Do not turn off the power, disconnect the AC adapter, remove the memory stick during the update as long as you are updating your system. Press X to start. So, now you wait for this to complete. So, we're going to go to pause mode again. If uh, this message gets the fuck out of my life. Pause. Alright, we're done. Update completed. Press S bu X button to restart. You can now delete the update data from your memory stick. Anybody with a brain would know that. But just in case you don't, there you go. If you ask me this question one more time, I'm going to throw you and your Windows professional ass out the fucking window.
So clearly, this thing looks like it's fucking normal. But you now have music unlimited power by Karoxity, whatever the fuck that is. You have the extras. You have sends me. And just to be sure. System information. 6.37 ME-3 is your custom firmware. So, um, 6.37 VSH menu is fairly different. Overclock my CPU. ME driver. Hmm. ISO video mount, none. XMB plugins, game plugins, that plug. Hmm, cool. Let's take a look at the recovery menu. Maybe it's purple. Yep, it's green. Awesome. Configuration. Skip the Sony logo. Hide the corrupt icons. Game folder for homebrew, currently 6.xx kernel. UMD mode. Hide MAC address, awesome. Fake region, who the fuck cares? Use VSH menu. USB device. Charge battery when USB is plugged in. Hide PIC 0.png and PIC 1. Awesome. Advanced. Back. Holy shit, they got some new stuff in here. Anyways. Plugins. Uh, yes. I need a new CXMB. Let's enable that. Let's enable that too, see what happens. Awesome. Exit and reboot the device. So not much added to the recovery menu, as you'll probably explore yourself. Um, but yes, we now have custom firmware six point three seven. What the fuck did I tell you about this place? Get the fuck out of my room. <laughs> so yeah, custom firmware six point three seven. I will have the links for you guys in the description. And uh, yeah, so uh, enjoy the firmware. We don't have to worry about uh, running out of ISOs now. Uh, it's going to be the ISO loader now, I presume, instead of the uh, M33 driver, the ME driver. If not, try the ME driver. That might also work as well. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that. Take it easy, guys, and rate, comment, ask me questions, I'll reply, subscribe, refer me to other people that have PSPs, I don't care, but have fun with the new custom firmware, guys, so, take it easy.